Squeakers are really interested in a tool or creation called traits these days. They allow you to add a method to a class without using inheritance. It's not small talk. I think it comes from the, the self language. Um, but it seems to be all the rage in um, Squeak and Faro. So if you install this, if you're using the trunk, because this is the trunk here, the trunk image, and you execute this code, you'll get traits updated and it'll, you'll be all set up. So the way to make a trait is you go to a template like you would for any class and you erase it and type in trait named and we'll call ours my trait. Then we'll add uses and an empty dynamic array there. Then category hello world. So we'll give this trait a method. We'll just it'll just return a string. So there we've got uh, trait in the hello world category. Now let's create a class called hello world. We'll make a little change here to the template. It'll say uses colon my trait. And we'll put that in the hello world category as well. You can see the hello world takes the uh, method, thinks that that method is its own. So we'll take a look at how this works. We'll type in hello world new author and we'll highlight that and we'll print it. There we go. So using a trait we've added a method to a class. For a basis of comparison we can add a method to hello world. It'll return a string, just uh, a different one. So now Hello World has two methods from two different sources, basically. Now we can sort of turn traits on and off. Um, if we replace my trait with an empty string there and save it, the traits just disappear and you can see Hello World now only has one method. And we can put it back the usual way. Add uses my trait. 